Okay. Let's see what this is like. I don't really know what to expect. So it came to pass that the day was to be saved by the most unlikeliest of heroes. A small child unwillingly thrust into the workforce. One a child. After another had been diverted due to her diligent and cunning decision making. With the kingdom on the verge of knowing everlasting peace and prosperity, our hero could finally rest their weary head. But only after one more critical decision no, was you. made. A decision of great weight. A decision of immense importance. A decision that could possibly kill hundreds, even thousands of what? people. What? Oh my god, you've made the wrong choice. Uh-oh. You did <gasps> through. You've doomed us all. Uh-oh. Everything's on fire now. We're all covered in fire. How could you have done this to us? What's going on? <laughs> what is happening? Lil. It's me. What? Oh, Dad, I was... Oh, I must have been having a nightmare. It's over now, sweetie. But since you're awake, I think it's time you and I had the talk. Oh, no. Out of one nightmare and into another. <laughs> sweetie, there comes a time in every young person's life... Dad, you don't have to do this. When they have to work their dad's shift at the guard shed while oh. he places a bed on the goblin ball match down at the pub. Uh, uh, mm, <laughs> uh okay. Seems responsible. Oh, Dad, do I have to? Today was the day I was going to start off on a grand adventure with my friends. I want to sail the open sea. I want to fight ogres. I, I want to throw rocks at things. Same. You think I didn't want to throw rocks at things when I was your age? But I, I haven't. No, no, I, I have haven't. Responsibility. I. Have I, I want to throw rocks. I don't know at what, but I want to throw rocks. Time. I might have to check it out. Did he ever win anything? Do you think we'd be stuck here if he did? No. Oh. But I'm twelve. Won't we get in oh. trouble? Not if we don't get caught. Uh. Come on. I'll show you how to handle anything that comes up. Hmm. Okay. I don't believe it. This game looks incredibly cute already. Okie dokie. Ready for me to very quickly show you how everything works? Yes, please. Oh, good. Everyone loves a tutorial. Yes, I do. No I'll ignore it. Full rundown, so I'll sum it up like this. Oh, okay. The key thing to remember when being a castle guardsman is... Dad, someone's coming. What do we do? Uh-oh. Uh, okay. Guess the best <laughs> way to learn is by doing. I agree. I hope there's someone completely plain and boring. Like myself. Okay. Oh! Hi. Good morning, Mrs. Abernathy. How's your day today? Plain and boring, as always. I love that this voice acting. Bingo. Would you mind if Lil looks after you? Oh, not at all. It's always a pleasure to see your daughter, Shamish. It's Hamish. This is adorable. Is... Never mind. Now, Lil, when a visitor approaches the guard shed, they'll generally start by stating their business. I'd like to state my business. Okay. I bring a basket of baked goods to my son and his family once a week. Oh, would you like one? I would love one. Oh my god. Thank you very kindly. Oh my god, plus one baked they good. Their business, it's pretty much your call what to do next. You can click on them and interrogate them. There's tools, the phone there on the wall. You only get three action points. You get it, right? Okay. Not really. What do we need tools for? You can pick one and it does something. Come on, Lil. I've really got to speed this along. The Goblin Ball game is about to start. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm inconveniencing you? <laughs> oh, no, not at all, dear. I don't mind helping out. Aww. But the princess is really gigging the ceremonial for a slingshot. Excuse me? <gasps> she is? Sweet jumping jitters, we gotta get to that game. <laughs> Let's wrap this up, dear. Sweet Shepherd, jumping jitters. What to do. 
The name is Hamish. No, it's Mrs. Abernathy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, any highlights I need to learn? Okay, um... Oh my! Oh my, okay! First thing you do when you start your shift is take a look. It's got a lot of information you need to do your job. You can click on the roll anytime, it won't cost you any action points. Okay! The castle guard corp can achieve a good star rating this month. There'll be a pizza party at the barracks! Nice! Uh, strict one slice limit per guardsman, that's bullshit. Uh, from the desk of Councilwoman Ash, there will be a demonstration in the city square this evening held by members of the Majors Guild. If any of the speakers come through your gate, please call my office to initiate their escort. Okay, so Majors Guild. Okay. Congratulations to Guardsman Randy on 35 years of his post. Congratulations. After a six month undercover operation at the Sprawl Cavern. The elderly, a group of sweet Grammys and Grampies are discovered to be trafficking illegal drugs into and out of the city. While not every old person is to be treated as a drug, will please be vigilant when dealing with somebody's grandparent. <laughs> well, um, okay, okay. Um, depressed joker seeks person with funny name if you call and pique my interest there's a cash bonus in it for you malcolm okay right what is this if you want to use a tool you have to make sure it has a crystal to charge it here i'll show you i'll add today's crystals to the tools that don't have any that way i have a well-rounded arsenal right okay why do the other tools already have crystals in them I carry them over from previous days. Okay. Any other questions? No, that makes sense. Why does a bullwhip need to be powered by crystals? I mean, it's a good question. No more questions. Oh, okay. <laughs> Finders of the Lost Relic. That's no so mommy. cute. Oh. This x-ray scanner can see through most types of clothing, flesh, and bone. It uses low-grade radiation. Do not use on trolls. Okay. Truth spray. You spray it, and they tell the truth. Honestly, that's what it does. Okay. It's a metal detector. You figure it out. Okay, that makes sense. You can use this decoder ring to decode things. Okay. I'm not exactly sure how it works. The instructions were written in some kind of code. Ah, I see. That may be a problem. Telephone. Stuck? This phone is for calling the royal advisors and asking for their help. But all they really give you is their Excuse opinion. me? <laughs> hey, Fitty, how are you? Oh, what kind of dog is he? He's French. With? What's that supposed to mean? You can get a hold of Lieutenant Stryker, Captain of the Guards, and technically our boss. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're having a good day. Hello, who's there? Oh, hello. Or First Councilwoman Ash. I'm gonna give her- Hey, hey that's good. What are we done for the week? Nice. Have you got tomorrow off then? Smash. Councilwoman Ash. Hello? Hello? Is somebody also there? maybe Smash? And finally, the royal jester. Hey, that's good. Chaos we love a long weekend. Hello, you've reached Malcolm. Please leave a message after the goose honk. Hey, where'd the goose go? <laughs> Chase after it, for goodness sake. Pass. Each call costs an action point. You use the wicked 3000 to make the big decision to let someone in or send them packing. Okay. Choosing this will end the tutorial. Can I finally. Didn't we and that's my this? inventory. Looking in your bag. Okay. So this, and then. I already told you. Clicking on the person means you interrogate. Them number two you of your story. top ten. Yes, it's number one gets to posted today. Questions. Sometimes. Number number one gets posted today. Sometimes. Sometimes using a tool will do the job better, or the phone, or it's a combination. Okay. I don't know. You can spend all three action points just interrogating them for all I care. Okay. Okay. I think I got it. Three... Now you can choose to use the Wicked 3000 at any point during a turn. But sometimes it's better to use up all three action points to find out everything right. you can by any means necessary. Be Minecraft. Is... I was playing a little bit yesterday and I had a good time. Sometimes? I had a good time. Yeah. And sometimes people are in a really big hurry, like I am right now. So just pick a damn lever already. Q. 
cute. I uh, go on in the evening and then look at it's half 12. I feel like that's Minecraft though, you know? I feel like that's really how Minecraft works. I'm off to watch the big game. Got my grandson's inheritance riding on a tip that the Stapleford Snughorns are going Here's a tip. Never lend Mrs. Abernathy money to bet with. This old lady has m uh, betting problems. Let's hurry along to the game. We I have built zero pixels so stuff to do. Hey, that's fair though. My name is Shamish. No, wait, it's not. Oh, I better go. Time to put on your big kid pants. You can do. Okay. I feel like I'm being forced to do this. It's only for today, I swear. Come meet me in the tavern when the shift is over. Good luck. Good luck with your illegal gambling. <clears throat> I don't need luck. It's definitely still illegal, though. He does. Okay. Okay, Lil, you got this. I got this. I know the tutorial. Nice. Let's go. Okay. This is kind of what I read before, right? So if any mage guilds, I need to call Councilman Ash. And then seeks person with funny name for the Joker. Okay. I'm going to forget everything. The premium pink ones are mage grade and work 100% of the time. The inexpensive yellow ones only work for- Oh, okay. Shite. Could try a hand at time travel anytime. Oh, dang. Time travel. How is Pixelmon, though? I've been tempted to play Pixelmon again. Oh, hello. Charmed to make your acquaintance, young Gateminder. I am Tyronius Athanatos, son of Brielle and Darunia Athanatos. Okay. I have Smash! <laughs> Mecca, hello, how are you? Magical freedom tonight, hosted by the Mages Guild. Need someone to do Oh, you're, you're giving a speech. Okay. Will you require anything further? I'm doing good, thank you. Uh, I need to ring Councilwoman Ash. Poor Celebi. Hey, nice. Okay. And that that's all I think I really need to do, sure. The house of Thanatos. Thank you, sped. No worries, Vix. See you in a bit. You will go far. Well, thank you. I try. You kids. <laughs> You read the writ and followed the orders. Hey! Nailed it. I only got three out of what? In, in the bath. Don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. No worries, Vix. All my days. Smash. Cheating? Fuck that guy. We need to wash them, apparently. His address is there on this incomprehensible, illegible letter my kids sent me. Uh, uh, oh! Believe me, I would love to have him get off his sorry butt and bring them to me for one. Smash. <laughs> I don't think they do. Um, let's go with uh. Hmm. Can I use the decoder ring on the um? Oh, I can't use can't use the decoder ring. Okay. It was his week with them. No, I'm sorry. It was his and his new girlfriend Callie's week with them. Oh. And do you want to know what the kids say about her? They say she's fun. I'm sure the letter they wrote is all about her. Can't decode it to save my life, though. My kids' writing is so lousy. <laughs> Doubt. Kelly probably isn't actually fun. She's probably just younger. <laughs> exactly. Uh -oh. She's actually closer to your age than she is mine. And now I've made myself sad. Oh. Right. Dakota. What the fuck does it actually say? 
I don't know how to tell you this, but there's more to this letter than meets <gasps> the eye. There's oh. a hidden message written here. Okay. It says, come son, mommy, Kelly is Nightmore. Does that make sense to you? Oh, no. Oh, my God. My boys don't know how to spell. But also, that thing about Kelly being the worst. Okay, I will let you in. In you go. Go get your kids. Thanks. Don't worry, Polyphemus Orlando Jr. Mama's coming for you. Good luck. Hey, four stars. You didn't judge a book by its cover and you knew not to send the way of a mama bear and her cubs. Aww. This is cute. Uh, hello. What in the bloody blazing blasted hell is the holdup? Why have we stopped, Welp? Well, sir, the guard. Silence! Speak when spoken to or you'll get the whip, Welp. Yes, sir. Now, you, child. Excuse me? Pass. No. I have important business to attend to. Come on, shake a leg. BS waits for no man. BS? Bank of the sprawl. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, um. Will it work? Nice. I don't know what it does. I just wanted to use uh, it. I'm sorry, sir. I was just slouching only for a second. I'll make sure that none of the blood gold falls out of its case. You nincompoop. It wasn't me using the whip. If it was, believe me, you'd feel it. Wait a second. Did he say What's blood, blood gold? gold? Isn't that illegal? Illegal! He didn't say blood gold. He said bloody gold. It's a form of slang. He must have picked up I don't from think... somewhere. Isn't that right, you bloody idiot? I don't think that's the case, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Whatever you say, sir. I'd like to take a closer look at those gold bars. Confiscate. I think I need to hold on to these. Why, you greedy little urchin. I think I like you more than ever. No, it's not like that. Oh, of course. Just remember, if you make any form of profit off of those, you're as much to blame as I am. Okay. Well, they're mine now. Thank you very much. Now, since you are finished rifling through my personal belongings, you insufferable petty little monster, let me pass. Uh, hmm. <laughs> no, I don't think I will. Tough shit. It's the goblin's fault, isn't it? Nasty no, it's not. It's your fault and your piss poor attitude. What about this? Let me through the gate, but I shall leave the goblin tied up outside like the cur he is. No. But sir, the gold. Silence. All right, you rotten little girl, I'll go. But you will rue the day you crossed me. Uh oh. Well, that's going to be interesting. You fought a blood gold trafficker on your first day, damn! <laughs> Legend. Nice, let's go. Oh, hello. Smash. Lil, you gotta close down the shed for the day and come with me immediately. By now you've heard that Princess Desdemona has disappeared, right? What? <laughs> so smash. Well, she's disappeared. Nobody saw anything or knows where she went. And any other week, the royal advisors might have given her a day or two before sounding the alarm. But with the mucky mucks from Patrol Who is here? in town, we have to get her back before things around here get any worse. I hope nothing bad happened to her, but what does any of this have to do with me? <laughs> I asked my boss the same thing. In fact, I said, why the hell would they need that piece of... You know, that's not important now. Do what you have to do to close up shop here, and then you're coming downtown to the city council chambers with me. Okay. Oh, almost four. 3.75. Let's go.
Let's go. Happy with that. That'll do. I guess you can go back and redo the bits that aren't perfect. What is going on Hello? here? Is anyone there? Uh, can somebody tell me why I've been summoned? Lilith, guardian of the southern gate. Step forward into the light. Uh, um... What is happening? What is this? Who are you? Can somebody please tell me what exactly is going on here? Will, you have been chosen. To play the hit game that's sweeping the sprawl. That's right, <laughs> what? it's time for... So you think you can save a princess! <laughs> That's right, Lil. What? Everybody I don't know. One of these lucky adventurers on the escapadable <laughs> lifetime to search for and rescue your beloved Princess Desdemona. I didn't ask to do this. And let's find out who those lucky adventurers are. Adventurer number one is a hard headed, go getting warrior from the desert plains of the alluring Marvog Empire. Please welcome <laughs> <Neil> <laughs> War Killer. Hi, Neil. Adventurer number two is a nomad by nature, mage by profession, who likes the rain and getting caught in a pina colada. It's articulate. <laughs> <Flame Hands. laughs> okay. Okay. And finally, adventurer number three. <laughs> you might recognize this thief from their wanted poster. Wanted dead or alive for looking so darn good. Let's hear it for Perry Shoutsen. Okay. I don't. I still don't fully understand what's happening. And no heroic voyager would be complete without a shadowy figure pulling the strings from the darkness. So let's welcome our sponsors: Lieutenant Striker, Councilwoman Ash, and Court Jester Malcolm. I'm rooting for you. Might makes right. Focus, and the day will be ours. Information is power. Aim for the knees and bite, bite, bite. <laughs> Now, Lil, okay. you have a chance to ask these adventurers a series of questions to determine their suitability for this quest. Right. At the end of the third round, you choose the winner of the grand prize. Okay. You sent on a perilous mission to save the princess, a few guaranteed brushes with death, and... And? A coupon for an all-you-can-eat dining experience. Oh, home of yes. The home of the soup. Good soup. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Let's do this. <laughs> the one and only soup. Just, just soup. All right, Lil. What would you like to ask our trio of Ooh, okay. would -be heroes? What are we asking? Perfect rescue. Origin story of favorite ice cream. Now, favorite ice cream does seem like a very important question. Uh, perfect rescue or origin story? What? Well, what are we going for? What? <laughs> what are we going for? I feel like favorite ice cream can tell you a lot about someone. Ice cream? Okay. If you were an ice cream flavor, what flavor would you be? And why? And who would you like to ask? Oh, who are we asking? Uh, let's ask Neil. Blood and sweat and tears. A swirly ice cream cone made up of these three true flavors. Very refreshing after a hard day's battle. Sounds good. Well done, Neil. Good answer. You can ask another adventurer if you like. Oh yeah, yes, 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 yes. You know that smell when it's about to rain? I'd like to be an ice cream of that flavor. Oh, okay. Any chance you could pick another, you know, normal flavor? Oh, you know that feeling when electricity is coursing through you? Maybe an ice cream of that flavor. Is is he okay? You could have just said no. Round two, let's go. Okay. And your second question is? Uh, well, I've bandits deal with magic users. Perfect first date. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just want to ask all the dumb questions. Uh, perfect first date, it's got to be, right? Let's say you save the princess and she falls in love with you. What's your ideal first date? 
Let's let's ask um this guy because we haven't asked him anything yet. Here we go. We break into the museum of modern history here in the sprawl. The security's a joke. We steal the crown and scepter of King Oswing that's housed there. Maybe not this guy. The profits 50 50, shake hands and go our separate ways. What a date. May maybe not him. You can ask another adventurer if you like. Let's ask Neil. Easy. We engage in feats of strength, combat without weaponry, using only our bodies, one against the other. And as we begin to sweat, as we intertwine our limbs. Oh, okay. Uh, I think we're done here. Neil, honey, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> Answer unearthed the full extent of your incompetence. I was ready to vow the child with mine. Let's stick to the format, folks. <laughs> There's a rich tradition we're preserving here. Please wait your turn. Okay, interesting. Mm, a warrior does not wait his or her turn. He or she acts. Uh oh. <clears throat> All right, Neil, calm down now. Mm, mm, you are gaslighting me. And the berserker spirits of my ancestors, Mike Melvin. <laughs> oh, nay. No. Uh oh. Looks like the warrior has entered the heightened state of berserker mode. Ooh. Lil, which contestant do you think will be able to get us out of this dilly of a pickle? Uh, sure. Yeah, I'll keep it together for just a few more oh, seconds. Oh, no, definitely not him. You, what's your favorite animal? Uh, moose. What? A moose? Oh, fuck's a sake. Box, Blood rage. <laughs> oh, nay. <laughs> oh, nay. <laughs> I died. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go with the other guy. That that. Don't look at me, or you can try, but I'll be out of here. Smoke bomb. Oh, okay. I died again. Okay. Well, this is going really well for me. If I do say so myself, that did escalate very, very quickly. I wasn't quite expecting it. Uh oh. So here, this guy, uh, a sparrow. Look at this little fella. Oh, look, it's so cute. <sighs> I, I, I feel the blood rage calming. I can't murder everyone present in front of something so small. Good answer. I am calm. Whew. I'm glad you didn't pick anything larger than a bread box. I'm not licensed for that. Oh, yeah, I'd never pick anything larger than that. Due to that unscheduled outburst, we are a little tight for time. Lil, do we squeeze in one more round, or are you feeling ready to choose? Um, I'll, I'll choose. You know, I think I'm going to go I'm with this guy. And tired. And I have to pee. Can we just get this over with already? Uh-oh. You know what that means. I have no idea what that means. This is so stupid. I agree. You're stupid. No, you. That sound means it's time for the lightning round. Oh God. Lightning round. Let's go. Lil, please choose the adventure that you'd like to see play the lightning round. This guy. All right, Articulus. Are you ready for the lightning round? I am. Okay. Most impressive. I felt that a little. <laughs> well deduced that I'm an elemental mage, Lil. Okay. Yep, that wasn't a random lucky guess at all. Nope, definitely not. Uh oh, you know what that sound means. No, I don't. Oh, God, not again. That sound means we are out of time. Okay. All right, Lil, now's your moment of truth. Who do you want to choose to rescue Princess Desdemona? I will still go with this guy. Yeah. Yeah, fuck it, why not? Ladies and gentlemen, humans and other ones, the winner of So You Think You Can Save a Princess. 
and proud owner of an all-you-can-eat dining experience at Monty's Home of the Soup. Oh, this is Home of the Soup. Articulous Flame Hands, the mage. Let's go. Aha, wonderful child. Well chosen. Thank you. And that's all for us here today. Please help control the pet population. Have your gargoyle spayed or neutered. So long, everybody. Excuse me. Well, that was interesting. I waited to buy my seven axe. He accidentally walked into two more tutorials, causing it to be late to make a bet on the big goblin game. Oh no! Tyrannius gave his keynote speech at the festival that magical freedoms inspired most in the crowd. The divide between magical and non-magical beings grew a little more that night. Uh oh. He interpreted his councilman Ash for her influence in facilitating his smooth admittance to the sprawl. No worries, Shorty. Thank you for hanging out. I hope you have a good rest of your day. After Denise picked up her kids, she moved them safely out of view, but not earshot, and gave Kelly a piece of her mind. I had a handful of new words that day, but they already knew. Oh, okay. While the guards were distracted, a disgruntled chambermaid escaped with a full set of fine silver from the palace. Due to your cunning confiscation and denying the old coot, Grumpkin T. Dankworth. Grump Grumpkin T. Dankworth! <laughs> was unable to make a sizable deposit of illegal blood gold to BS. Unfortunately, it happened on the same day of an unprecedented volume of cash withdrawals. This caused the bank to run and close early. People panicked. They burned the bank to the ground. Mr. Dankworth refused to donate money to have it rebuilt. Ah. Having lost so you think you can save a princess, Neil Warkiller fell into a barbarian depression and left his brawl. After a week of sulkily trudging across the countryside, he discovered a quaint farmer's market populated by elderly locals. Lending a hand here and there with the various farmers selling their produce. One fierce, fierce fighter found employment and ultimately peace with a flower vendor. That's really cute. After winning So You Think You Can Save a Princess, Articulous Flame Hands wasted no time getting straight to work. He conjured a small army of moles and other small creatures and sent them off in every direction to seek out the princess's location. His mighty mini, mini mammal militia eagerly was unfortunately decimated by falcons, eagles, and the other large preg- Ah. Depressed by the mass rodent's death, he was indirectly responsible for the disheartened mage returned to his tower. He was out of ideas. He gave- it they report that he was unable to locate the Lost Princess due to some entangled cosmic forces. Ah! <clears throat> Having lost you think you can save a princess, Perry Shoutson found his way to his favourite tavern in the Little Ogre Quarter. After one too many delicious margaritas, Perry got sloppy trying to pickpocket the bartender and was lifted off the ground by the bouncer, mistaking some bar snacks for one of his paintings and smoke bombs. The inebriated thief dramatically threw down a handful of mixed nuts and then ran headfirst into a pillar! <laughs> Everyone in the bar laughed at him and Perry could have died from embarrassment if he hadn't already died from severe blunt force trauma to the head! What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> um, I actually really liked that. I had a very, very fun time. That was actually really good. I... Definitely want to play that when that comes out, because that seems like that's going to be a really good laugh. I feel like that's going to be very, very good. <laughs>